I feel like a lot of people feel like if they talk to people that they're burdening people with their problems. That's not always the case. When I read all the comments, and sorry for your loss, about everybody just sort of like being there for each other. I sort of wanted to write it from that angle. I think that's one of the best parts about my job, even though it can be pretty overwhelming, as I can channel someone's feelings and put them into a song. My name is Jess. I lost my partner already 17 months ago. It's been just a little bit over two years. One year and 13 days ago. Sorry for Your Loss was the first show I had seen that was realistic about grief and widowhood. It's been a blessing to be in a group with these ladies that are so open and trusting. To have that connection through Facebook was a big deal. I don't know a single other widow in real life that lives really close to me or that was in my friend group. I go out sometimes with people and I come home to my empty house. That feeling of isolation, where do I fit in? Where's my purpose? Now that the love of my life is gone, now what? If you need me, I'll be right there. Even if I'm not next to you, you know, like it's, you know, someone online saying that I'm here for you. It's the person that they love in a way still there for them. I hadn't touched any of his clothing or anything. I was in a daze. Why will no one let me just be angry or be sad or not understand why I'm upset and why I haven't moved on already when it's only been weeks? And I watched the first four episodes they had released all at once and just sat there on my couch bawling my eyes out with my dogs. It felt like someone got it. We spent more than 24 years of our lives together. It's a lot of loss, missing somebody that you love so deeply for so long. The looks across the room, the little things, the big things. I miss us. I miss the man who used to tell me that I was pretty every day of my life. I just miss us. When we started writing the song, I started it on the piano. I had sort of written every other part but the verse. Out of sight, don't mean out of mind. Not any space, but you're still in mind. Time is friends with distance, but there ain't no friends of us, and that's fine, because... I was putting those in their places, but I just could not for the life of me figure out what I wanted to do with the verses. I ended up calling this amazing artist that I know, J.P. Sachs. I just need help with verses. And he came and he did his thing, and then I sort of just tweaked what he had done. I knew that I didn't really want the song to be that sort of melancholy. I wanted it to be more uplifting, so we switched the piano to guitar, took it up a couple steps, and then it just felt right. Even when somebody is not with you, you can still feel them with you. You're never as lonely as you think you are. My biggest takeaway is for people to know that they're not alone.